Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is your quick intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means this could resonate for you past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out the videos for your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. All right, what is going on here, please, for the collective? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, please. What is the energy here for the collective? All right. Under the deck is the Eight of Cups with the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. straight away we do have a little bit of everything here we have strong uh, Taurus Virgo Gemini uh, we have air strongly here Gemini Libra Aquarius little water little fire I mean it could be any sign but I will say that Taurus Gemini Virgo are the strongest all right and let us see what is going on here please for the collective something clipped there and, okay All right, so this first card here says, My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love, transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. And then this card here says, Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And this card here says, Manifesting Miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. I feel like someone's kind of walking away from a situation here and they're missing someone. Trying to make a choice. Maybe some of you are walking away from someone who did not want commitment or was in an existing commitment. That's not for all of you. Again, take it how it resonates. Let's get some clarity here. Why is the hair font here? Now, for some of you, the Hierophant can be like um, a teacher or a spiritual leader. So, some kind of religious or cultural difference could have been a, a factor here. For some of you, this could have been um, maybe like a teacher or a boss or something. Why is the Hierophant here? Tell me about the Hierophant. What is this? What is this energy? There we go. For some of you, you're a part of this is you're finding out some kind of truth. Somebody's in an existing relationship. For some of you, I'm kind of getting um, someone was not fully honest about their circumstances. Like, you might have met someone in the past who was like, oh, um, yeah, yeah, legally I'm married, but we're actually in the process of separation. I'm, I'm going through a divorce, you know, etc. Just waiting to get my own place, that type of thing. But someone wasn't telling the full truth the whole truth it does feel like there's a third party situation here for some of you if not that um you could feel like maybe this person's not telling people about your relationship because of the circumstances like maybe their culture religion doesn't approve okay or their family doesn't approve or this person could like get like a boss or a teacher or something and that is why it is not public or known and you don't want to get put in this position so you're walking away Again, for some of you also, like I said, it could be that this person was not fully honest and you have come to discover the truth, Knight of Swords, it's all kind of happening kind of quickly. Why is the Three of Cups here, though? Yeah, I, nobody knew you guys were actually together or dating. Uh, this person could have been because, again, they're either protecting their, um, the fact they were already in a relationship or their position or, like, a uh, job or something. Just another reminder, these are general readings. They are for a large collective. There could be 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 or more who watch this reading. You might find that all of it resonates, none of it. Maybe just certain parts. Maybe just one sentence you know was meant for you to hear today. So let's say take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Because again, there's going to be different groups of you. Some of you, like I said, this is someone that uh, either like you work together with in some capacity or they're already married. Uh, now with King of Cups here, I do feel like this is someone who kind of was like very affectionate, very warm, very kind, male or female. Um, they like you, but they weren't being honest with you. 
for some of you, this person was like very affectionate, very warm, very friendly, but they were inconsistent. You know, they were saying all the right things. They're very drawn to you. They're kind of seeing you as this nine of pentacles. Again, regardless of your gender, male or female, does not matter. Nine of pentacles, like this pre-empress, single, independent, confident, beautiful. You look good. You smell good. You take care of yourself. I mean, and of course, this nine of wands, this passionate, fiery person is coming in very flirty, you know, very attracted to you, saying all the right things, doing all the right things. But with the nine of wands, he does have a tendency to be kind of on and off, kind of hot and cold, in and out, back and forth. Um, and you've discovered the truth. You maybe took matters into your own hands, went online, discovered this person was keeping secrets from you. Um, you know, maybe they got a wife and, you know, three kids at home, a dog, a golden retriever. Uh, maybe they're just something you've you figured this out you've pieced it all together now it's making sense why this person you know first came off so strong and so there and so present and then disappeared you know um and you're wondering did i get played in this situation sometimes that magician can be like a manipulator yeah so you've walked away after finding out the truth you're trying to heal and focus on you sagittarius energy but you do miss this person that current energy, I think a lot of you are really trying to kind of channel like this hurt, this pain, this sense of betrayal or loss into something else, like um, kind of throw in all of like this negative energy to kind of like turn it into like fuel for like your creative fire, you know. Um, some of you are trying to focus on getting a new job or, you know, excelling in your career. Some of you are maybe writing a book or, you know, going to the gym or, you know, whatever it is in a way to somehow improve your life and um, your happiness, focusing on you. Yeah, some of you, your work is really paying off. I, I don't know why this is really, these are intended for love, but they can resonate in many different ways. But for some of you, really strong message coming through is whatever you're putting your energy into right now is going to succeed. It is going to grow. It's like some of you could be starting a business, you know, writing a new book, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, it's paying off and you're seeing results. Keep working at it. Very creative energy here for you. But I do see movement. Now for some of you, there's communication coming in from this person who wronged you. Eight of Wands. So what is this? What is this person saying? What is this person doing? I miss you. Let me come in from out of the cold. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, all I do is lay around thinking about you, thinking about our connection, thinking about what could have been. I feel like there's a spiritual connection here, that Four of Wands. You make me happy. You're in this energy of this Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you could have strong fire in your chart. Queen of Wands is the most attractive queen in the deck, but she's more than that. She is someone who's fiery and passionate, determined. You know, she's someone who's not going to let anybody walk all over her. She's going to stand tall. She's going to stand firm in her belief. She's going to be kind of stubborn. You know, she is someone who's exciting and playful and fun. She's full of energy. She's adventurous. You know, she's that kind of person that you know, she just, you love being around her. Her energy just energizes you in a sense. She makes you feel like anything is possible. You know, she's someone so fiery, so full of life, and she makes you feel alive. You know, you just, you feel drawn to her. I just feel like a lot of you, this is about self-care. This is about you putting yourself first. This is about you stepping into your power, knowing your worth. Um, why is this Queen of Wands here? And it's taken you a long time to kind of heal and get to this point. Um, but I think that you're living your truth. You know, being really clear in your communication. You see this person as a magician. You see them as a manipulator or someone who's trying to pull you back in. Ooh. And I think some of you, I mean, there's still like a really strong connection here. But it's like you're kind of piecing together this person, their energy, their their feelings. Look at this, my beloved. I mean, it's not that there's no feelings here. I mean, there's definitely love here between you and this person. Though it may be physically apart, spiritually we're always connected. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you feel, desire to feel joy. This is, again, about you putting yourself first. Your dream is soon to become reality. Like I say, I feel like whatever you're putting your energy into, it is growing and you are seeing results and you are seeing success from that. But when it comes to love, it's like you can still feel this sense of like emptiness or sense of loss, walking away, pain. We saw that here, missing this person, missing the connection. That's what they're telling you. They're like, I miss you. You know, I want to come towards you. But you may be hesitating. 
I think there's a hope here that everything will work out, that you're going to get all of your wishes, all of your accomplishments, all the success that you deserve. But there's a fear that this person is just wanting to have their cake and eat it too. Nine of Cups is sometimes about self-indulgences. For some of you, this third party could be an addiction. That could be really specific. If it's not like a physical person, it could be that this person drinks or uses some type of substance or gambling or something. And you're worried that this person is still indulging in that. Some of you think this person is still married and that you don't want to be the mistress of the other woman or the other person. Outcome, King of Swords. What is the outcome here? What can you expect from this person? What can you expect? Okay. There's an ending here. Some, some kind of rejection and the justice card. Some of you, this person is not making some type of change in their life. The truth has kind of come out. Someone has a choice to make between two people. Gemini energy with the lovers here. You, you, you know, oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. Ace of swords, ace of wands, ace of cups, the lovers. This person is going to try to come in. I miss you. Can we talk? Flirting, love, like trying to offer all these things. But you're hesitating because you feel like this person needs to... Before you're able to willing to do this, this person has to make an ending. A major change. It could be a Scorpio they're ending things with. And or, or you're going to reject their offer because it needs to be fair. It needs to be balanced. They have to put in the same amount of effort that you're willing to give. You see the potential in this connection, but you don't want to be strung along. You don't have to pass to repeat itself. This person is making a lot of promises, but I think that you're going to hesitate until you feel like you have enough proof or uh, something that this is going to change or progress in a positive way. You know, I think that this is really, really standing firm, not budging, careful, waiting. This person doesn't want to lose this connection. They're going to try to communicate with you, trying to manifest this back, still feeling connected to you, trying to pull at your heartstrings. But you want consistency. You need consistency. You're not going to settle for less. So that's what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.